Hey, this is Chris Goff, and in this training video in Deal Pro, I want to teach you how to lease option a property and then rent it out as your exit strategy. Probably not one of my favorite ways to do this, and you're going to see why. All right, so if we scroll down and actually look at the lease option numbers that we're going to pay the seller, especially if you've seen some of the other lease option, we're going to keep some of these numbers the same in, from previous videos. We're going to offer the seller $330 with a $2,000 option payment, which is non-refundable, unlike a security deposit, which would be refundable if they take care of the home going to uh, that is applied to the purchase price we're going to pay 1700 a month sometimes i use monthly credit sometimes i don't basically a monthly credit is nothing more than it could be a hundred dollars five hundred dollars that is applied to the purchase price assuming that i paid on time so on or before the fifth of the month if you pay me on time i'll give you a paper credit towards buying it we're going to do this for 36 months now why would we rent this the only, only reason I would ever do a lease option and rent it is if something was happening in the area. You know, something's coming in that's going to explode the market in that area and you just needed to get in. That would probably be the only way to do this because number one, I've got to come up with $2,000 out of my pocket and I'm not really getting it over here. I'm just getting a security deposit when I rent it out. So it is costing me some money to do this, but let's see how the numbers actually work out. So how many months are you gonna keep it as a rental? Maybe we'll only keep it for 12 months. And like I said, maybe something big is coming into town that's gonna to increase the value of the property. I'm gonna receive 2,000 a month as going rent at 10% um, vacancy rate. You just never know, so I always like to throw that in there. Now monthly operating expenses really is gonna be zero because we're not paying that over with the seller. The seller still owns the property. Okay, so we're not really experiencing those expenses as if we own the property via seller finance or if you bought it. Now, if we scroll down to actually see the return, we only total cash flow for the entire year was only twelve hundred. Uh, keep in mind we had expenses up front of two thousand cash on cash sixty percent. Yeah, you could say like you made money with the two thousand you have invested. This really wouldn't be a great exit strategy, but I want to share with you, you could do this. It is an option. So hope you enjoyed that video and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one.